Hello everybody! Today we are going to be going through my wardrobe. A lot of you guys have been asking for style and fashion content, but I really hate the idea of telling you guys what I think you should be wearing and what's cool and what's not. So today all I'm going to do is go through my wardrobe, show you some of my favourite pieces, um, that I'm currently wearing. Um, I'm in a transition phase going from summer to autumn. Not that I have a summer wardrobe, but I'm trying to narrow down everything so that I have a few key pieces. Okay, so this is actually so it's like two double doors into one big wardrobe. I share this obviously with my boyfriend, but um, in his cupboard is where we keep the shoes. So I'll come to that in a second, but I'll start with my side. We, we share clothes, but this is generally my side. This is all where uh, I've got like old bags I don't use and where I'm trying to store away bits that I'm not wearing anymore. There's a little bit of color in there, but it's mainly a lot of monochrome stuff. I like to keep my outfits kind of simple um, and I don't like to think massively about what I'm wearing for the day anymore. So monochrome means I can just throw together whatever really. Um, black and white always goes together, black, white, gray and white, so yeah. Okay, so let's start off with one of my favorites and I've had this for years now. This is a bomber jacket by Lazy Oaf um, and their Looney Tunes collection. As you can see, it's just a bomber jacket, but it's got these amazing patches on of all the Looney Tunes characters, maybe looking a little a bit suspiciously high um, but yeah I like it it's just fun it's a really good quality jacket as well I, I have a lot of jackets you're gonna see uh, this is from my other favorite brand drop dead and it's from their sonic collection um, yeah again just a really good quality jacket um, and I like these patches that they've got on it as well that's their logo then of course all the sonic characters it's got pockets on the inside. I know that's a weird thing to say, but a lot of jackets don't put pockets on the inside. And it drives me crazy. Like, that's where I like to keep my phone and all, you know, important stuff. Then next we have the leather jacket, a staple piece that pretty much every guy should really own in their wardrobe. Um, this is a real leather jacket, and I would highly recommend you invest in one rather than buying a fake or full leather jacket. Um, I like all, kind of all the details on this, like the biker details, um, the zips, um, and I like to customize them myself as well with um, like little um, pins and things like that. But yeah, you'll find that a leather jacket is gonna go with everything and that um, it's a proper investment, something you should invest in. I would spend anything from 80 to 100 on a good leather jacket. Uh, next up we have this denim jacket. This is one of my favorite denim jackets. It's by a brand called Waven. And they're pretty much known for their good quality denim and their cool denim pieces. Um, and this is like a blazer, like a denim blazer. Um, as you can see, it's got like the three button. Then the kind of blazer jacket collar, which I really, really like because it's just easy to kind of um, throw on, like if you're going out with your friends for dinner or something like that, you want to look a little bit smarter than you usually do. Um, and then another jacket from Drop Dead. This is a nice, like kind of lightweight, silky bomber um, that I like because it's nice and lightweight. So coming up to autumn, winter, it's easy to layer up. So I'm not too hot and not too cold because sometimes the weather is everywhere. But again, just Drop Dead are really good at good quality pieces. Um, the same with Art Disco as well. This is a little bit cheaper, um, but Art Disco are one of my favorite brands. Um, it's just kind of like a camouflage, really lightweight. This is actually a shacket. <laughs> I hate that word. It's like a shirt jacket, but again, really easy to layer up. Um, I don't know why I have this or why I bought it, um, but it's like um, a hoodie, but the sleeves are insanely long, like they're so long, um, but it's really cozy. I wear it around the house and I kind of like this detail here um, of the big oversized um, zip thing. T-shirts, as I mentioned, I like to keep it really simple. Um, so I've got a lot of striped t-shirts for some reason, but two of my favorites are obviously by Lazy Oaf. So just a nice black plain t-shirt, um, but it's got this nice embroidery on the front of it um, that says problem child, which I really, really like. Um, and again, a really basic t-shirt, black and white striped one, again with a bit of detail on it saying call your mum, which I thought was really cute and I, I really like that. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around now so that I can show you the rest of what's in the wardrobe. Um, I have my hat, <laughs> look, look how long it is. A couple of hats here. Um, I just kind of wear these when I go into the shop. I don't wear hats that often, but when I haven't done my hair and I need to go out in public, that is what I will put on. Um, this draws a bit of a mess actually, but this is, a uh, jumper from Killstar. And I just kind of like the NASA logo, but it says nasty instead. Um, and it's got some cool badges on the sleeve as well. Um, all like alien and space themed. Um, 
This one is from Lazy Oaf again, and they did like a Disney collaboration, um, and it's got like an old Mickey Mouse in the front, um, and it says Lazy. I thought that was really cool. Second drawer down is my accessories as far as hats go. Um, it's actually just hats <laughs> and a scarf, and the scarf's from Drop Dead. Now, I didn't know, I got these from a shop, um, an app that was like, really cheap and you just buy things. I got these hats for a pound. I didn't realize they're a ripoff of acne. So um, lucky I know someone that can get me a discount at acne. So I'm gonna buy the real thing because now I feel like I've done something highly illegal. Um, but let's move on. And in that bottom drawer in there, it's um, towels and bedding. So you don't really want to see that. But let's go into this one here. So this is the second side. Um, mainly my boyfriend's clothes there. I wear a few of those. But here we have the shoes. I'm not really into shoes like a lot of guys are nowadays. Like I'm not really into trainers. Like I just don't care that much. Um, but some of my favorites here we have the Adidas Tubular shoes, um, which I don't wear that often because they actually make my feet really sweaty because they're made of like a neoprene kind of material, like a scuba diving material. Um, so Corny's there, New Balance, and a few Pumas. Air Max is at the back there, and a formal pair, which are cross of trainers and brogue shoe, which I love these so much. Um, then at the bottom we have a few boots, um, cat there, we have DMs, Dr. Martins, Reebok trainers, these River Island ones, and then I love these, these are kickers. Um, I think we all know kickers, we probably wore them in school, but I love these, they're so comfortable. Yeah, and as you can see the majority of them are black, just because they're easy to kind of like go on with everything and anything. But yeah, that is pretty much it to be honest with you. As I mentioned, I'm in between like changing from summer to winter, so I'm trying to get rid of loads of stuff. Wardrobe's a bit of a mess as far as like a, a core set of clothing items go. But yeah, let me know if you liked any of those brands or if you um, know any brands that you think I'd like. Leave it in the comments down below as always. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on notifications and that's it guys. I'll see you next time.